Oh, I, ain't gonna lie. I just had to back like fucking chlamydia on Mafia One. Oh, shit. hold on. This is the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for ten years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. You heard him. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss. Any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks rumpus. ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of Jesus. closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is Did he be in there? You can tell. crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm. And he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries. And I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello? Hey. Do you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab bass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. We not, nigga. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. I ain't gonna lie, I just had to do that whole bullshit from like the ending boss. of last episode where we had to well, run away from the cops. I had to do all that over. The guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. <laughs> I'll keep your driver safe, boss. Bono Fortuna, boys. Bono Fortuna. said to meet him downtown. I'm trying to talk that shit. I don't even know what the fuck that means. He could just say fuck black people, boys. Alright, boys. <laughs> fuck minorities. <laughs> segregation. He's like, alright, boys. Segregation. You okay, Carla? Looking kind of like you shit yourself. This uh, motherfucker kind of kind of got some push to it. They kind of got some push to it. Listen, I spend more time with a don than all of you put together. Did sure. I already say we back like comedy? Because sure. I feel like I should have made that joke. Until he's finished with his broad. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Y'all gonna stop. Y'all gonna stop calling my nigga Lil Carlo. If you don't want me to come, I won't. It's fine. Boss doesn't yeah, have Lil Carlo. You just like fucking Petey. The boss says it again. Just you got a face like you're being taken for an airing. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Right, because your fucking Why fat face and squeaky Morello voice is going to make him think we're First tough. Gates pulled in with his trucks, so none of you niggas got a lick of facial hair. The big guy himself popped him in the nose. The niggas is his baby face, hot piss voices. His nose is gonna get more up trying to bully this nigga in the back seat. <laughs> That's why we're pretending to stick him up. Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. He'll uh -huh. convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. He'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named Salieri. Come on. This plan is I'm all pushing shit, this motherfucker too. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it got worse. Hey, when you get a lead Stop from hating, the boss, Sam. I ain't gonna lie. and you don't know, just drive in places, then, then you get to pick holes. Oh, that was Carlo? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, if I was you, I wouldn't be when popping Morello that shit. You know don't come crying to me. I wouldn't be popping that serious? shit. We don't, niggas don't even really know you serious. like that. Fellas, knock it off. Christ. Okay. 
Tommy in the front seat playing mom. Shut up, nigga. You used to drive cabs. Fuck out of here. And niggas didn't want to shoot a rapist in the head. Told me most of them, oh, no, no, no. Like, nigga, you gonna bully this nigga in the back seat. And then told, like, <laughs> oh, speedometer. Come on now. I'm quit with that bit. Quit with that bit. And we right around the corner. Come on now. Let's go see what's up with the, uh, let's go see what's up with the, I was finna say this Jamaican nigga. Let's go see what's up with the country ass nigga. Yeehaw ass nigga. I do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. There's a snake in my boot, Good. ass nigga. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. <laughs> That's a classic movie. They made a fourth one, right? I don't, I've never seen that one. I've seen obviously the first three, but I ain't never seen the fourth one. And I played the video game too. Only real niggas played the Toy Story game. I think I played the third one. Real niggas played real niggas played the Toy Story game. And real niggas played GTA San Andreas when you could still go in that school. I forget what school it was, but bro, my big cousin Elijah had that shit on PS2, and that fucking school scared me. I never went in that building. Well, we got jobs and we're here. Cause it was just so fucking dark. And I don't even know, I don't even remember if it was a school. It's probably still in the game, too. Not in the new one and, like, the updated one, but probably in, like, the older one, maybe. Anything but else we need to know about Gates, I think you can find a Old knife in there or got something. got a bust-up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Park up over there. Got you. Let me park like this, just in case we got to... Bust a quick maneuver out of here. Holly. Come on, bro. I got that motherfucking yeah. wheel, nigga. Too, gripping that bitch like an ass. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. Hey, damn, why the fuck I gotta be the alcoholic? And they said, Tommy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nigga fetched me. It's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more runs. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna That's be what rich, I told you, bitch. So we're always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. Yeah. Pow, nigga! Old school counterpunch. <laughs> no, no! It's okay. Oh, what? I Knock the socks off that nigga. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, don't worry, pal. All the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> he knocked the fucking socks off, boy. This is getting running down this ugly face ass nigga. I'm never I'm not dying to a nigga with freckles, yo. Fuck wrong with you. I'm about to put you I'm about to nigga, you about to wake up next to Tupac, nigga. And Elvis, nigga. Niggas about to wake up to a full concert, nigga, full of dead niggas. Full of niggas that's no longer with us. I'm sorry, that's fucked up to me. The passed away concert. <laughs> I don't know, nigga. I know I got that motherfucker over. Pick your man's up, pick your man's face up, nigga. Pick your partner up, nigga. Pick your homie up, nigga. Fuck all y'all. Scoop his goddamn go, face got up. Up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you stead. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Hey, y'all know what I've been on recently? I've been like, <clears throat> randomly, I will randomly get like, I'll watch like randomly just a bunch of cop videos or a bunch of 60 days in videos. And recently, the ones that's really been getting me is this nigga named fucking Patty Mayo, bro. Or I think that's his name. Hold on, let me see. Yep, Patty Mayo, bro. That nigga's a bail, a bail. Oh, let me let me see exactly what he is. Yeah, he he does bail bondsman shit. So basically, I don't know, and, and maybe so I don't sound ignorant. I'm not gonna say he's the bail bondsman, but he's one of the niggas that they send to, to your house when you don't pay the money for the bail. And bro, he be talking to these people crazy, bro. Like this nigga, one video, bro, he calling a nigga a little bitch and everything, bro. 
he telling the nigga like, yeah, whoop you whoop you whoop, and you know we gotta we gotta come to. You're under arrest because you didn't pay your bill, so you know. Oh, he told the nigga, he told the nigga, if you don't believe me, you can call the police, little bitch. Call the police, you little bitch. <laughs> Fuck all this shit. You don't you don't believe I'm real bell boss, man? Nigga, call the police, little bitch. <laughs> he don't be calling them niggas, but. Bro, it's one, it was this big, it was this big nigga, bro. He, he, he jumping all in the nigga back and shit. I be seeing him kick niggas in the face. He be booting niggas, all type of shit. Cracking jokes and shit, man. This nigga, he be wildin'. It's funny. The videos is funny. I ain't gonna lie. He chased a little person one time. The nigga said, um, the video is called, I wanna say this shit is called Little Person Big Warrant. <laughs> this nigga's a fucking animal. <laughs> He be, yo, it was this one nigga, right? He was on the roof, bro. Or not on the roof, but, like, not on the actual roof of his house, but on, like, the upper, so, like, just for, just for lack of better words, we're gonna say it's, like, an attic. He was in the attic, and they found a way to climb up there and get him by, and get him down, right? And he was trying to reason with the nigga climbing up. He's like, he telling him, no, man, you don't want to come up here. And the nigga's like, why don't I want to come up here? What you gonna do to me? He's like, no, 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 it's just because you all, right? <laughs> so, dude found a way to get up there. The nigga's like, okay, no, no, I'll come down. I'll come down. <laughs> like, yeah, I fucking bet you'll come down now so they don't throw your stupid ass down. I fucking bet you will come down now, nigga. Well, what, what if we don't? He told the nigga he was gonna throw him through the roof. <laughs> what if we don't want you to come down now, nigga? What if my partner didn't waste his time for nothing and now we gonna throw you the fuck down? Now, what if that? I ain't gonna lie though, he do be kinda bugging sometimes. I just don't, the one thing I don't like is that like, I don't like that I'm dying, but I don't like that, like he just puts everybody in handcuffs, nigga. If you're in the house, everybody's in handcuffs. He doesn't do the whole reasoning and talking with people. And I guess I get that after certain years of your job, but it's like, damn bro, you could at least try and be a little bit more like, you feel me? Like, because my thing is, is like, He's he's lenient with certain people, but it's just like nigga, if they tell you the truth, cause they'll tell them the truth sometimes, and it's like, okay, well, we're gonna uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have like they they just they locked this girl up called Jasmine. Or they didn't, I don't know if they locked her up, but they definitely detained her and called the police. It was like basically we're gonna we're gonna um. <clears throat> For like a betting of fucking somebody that had a warrant out for their arrest or something like that he was telling her like you're not gonna do any jail time but it's gonna you gonna have to go to court and pay a fine and it's just like bro you ain't even have to do all of that like because i think when they pulled up there shardy was already in the house so it's like you knew you might have she probably did know he was there but you really can't prove that she knew that he was there it really could just be a situation of bad timing now the one thing that I will give him is that it doesn't seem like it's race thing. He is he is just kind of like I don't want to call him a dick, but he's kind of like equally an asshole to everybody, whoever you are. Now he isn't equally an asshole to the niggas that's bigger than him because they caught this one nigga. What was the nigga name too? I wrote it down. Joey Beltran, nigga, a famous UFC fighter. That nigga's name is the Executioner, and they kept saying it. Them niggas was when I tell you they they had the utmost respect for this man. Walked in there so. Hey Joey, how are you doing? <laughs> nigga said, how are you doing, first of all? You know why that's funny to me? Cause I seen one where I, I just watched one that was recent where they um they fucking handcuffed this 19-year-old girl and this grandma and they didn't even have shit to do with it, bro. They really probably didn't even know where the nigga was. He happened to be in a house across the street, but and that was that was another UFC fighter nigga. Now this one, they threw some like they they tased them and shit. They was a little bit less, you know, like a little bit less cautious with this nigga, but the other nigga, they definitely was like on some, you know, well, we're gonna, we wanna play things calm and smoothly, and you know, if shit goes left, then we're all just gonna jump on them, but the fucking grandma and a 19 year old girl get handcuffed, like nigga, you feel me? Like, I just be feeling like certain shit is just excessive force, like you really didn't have to do that, bro. And I get that, like, after certain years of your job, you hear a lot of bullshit, but like, nigga, that's just you assuming that these people is telling you bullshit. Damn, I forgot that this shit got set on fire. Fucking the old lady didn't even the old lady didn't even speak English. She's like he not even he speaking Spanish to her, but he not even really speaking Spanish. The niggas he's just sounding like numbers and like random Spanish words that are like nuevo. <laughs> like I don't even know what that means, but he's just saying shit like that. Like, Nino, nigga, uh, like, fucking Rojo, like, I'm like, nigga, like, I don't speak Spanish, and I know that that's not what she said, she didn't say shit about the color red, she was probably saying something like, these handcuffs are too tight, get the fuck out of my house, white man, white devil, 
I'm just playing. But she was probably like, for real though, like, no, she definitely was saying these handcuffs are too tight because the Spanish nigga that they had with them translated and she was saying that the handcuffs are too tight. I just be feeling like, I just be feeling like assessment should be used for certain things, you know? Like, the old lady doesn't need to be thrown in handcuffs. The 19 year old girl doesn't need to be thrown in handcuffs. Maybe the male in that situation because he might, but he was like super cooperative. The crazy part about that is that was that nigga's brother and told on him. He's like, yeah, he's in the house across the street. That's my grandma's house. Whoopty, 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 whoop. And, you know, and I mean, I guess I get it because they got your grandma in handcuffs. But like, damn, nigga, it's <laughs> like that's, that's that's family, too, is it not? But I don't know. I don't know if they because I don't I don't know. I don't I don't I don't think my family would be in a situation where my grandma would be put in handcuffs. But I don't know. I don't know. I, th I think. What I told the nigga if somebody put my girl in my head, cause if I knew, I don't know. Cause it's like they not gonna lock your grandma up for like, cause she didn't even do shit. They they wasn't gonna lock that lady up if she, if they really didn't find that nigga in that house and they believed that they didn't know, they was just gonna let him go. It's only in situations like with the girl Jasmine where it's like we can we have definitive proof that he's in the house and he's somewhere. Where it's like with them, it's like they weren't gonna lock your fucking grandma up. So I don't I don't know. Now, if if it was a situation where I did something, they was like, "Nigga, we can lock your grandma up for a betting." Then yeah, I'll just take the charge. You're not finna, you're not finna throw my grandmama behind the G wall. That's fucking crazy. I, I love my grandma. <laughs> I'm finna have her in the pen. This ain't fucking Medea goes to jail type, type of nut ass shit. My grandma will be on the outside, nigga, in the free world. But yeah, they was real. They was real careful with that with that Beltran nigga, cause they knew he could fuck him up. He caught a fade with the main nigga too. He ain't really like catch like a full fade. They was like he was on some shit where like, nigga, we could we could grapple and whoever like if you make me top out, I get in the handcuffs. And dude was like, okay, so what do I get if I don't make you top out? So what do I get if I don't make you top out? Oh well, uh. He said, I'll just get in the handcuffs and make it easier for you niggas, right? Or not you niggas, but you know what I mean. Nigga, bro, he was doing his thing for a little bit, but this UFC nigga, damn, would, like, if they would've, because they hopped on him as soon as, they, and they, and I knew they was going to do it too, but they hopped on that nigga as soon as it was getting bad. But if they would've let that nigga get his shit off, he would've kept that nigga on the floor. And I'm not even saying that as a nigga that I feel like could, could take, could, I can't beat up a UFC fighter, nigga. I'm not saying this as the toughest nigga, but... That's my thing. When the UFC nigga invited them to the fight, I'm like, bro, are you really gonna get in the fucking grapple off with this man for some YouTube shit? Cause then it's like it's not even really gonna be a grapple off. Like, you feel me? That's why I don't like when cops and people like that be talking shit. Cause it's like, nigga, if like you really can't fight them niggas. Cause if if you really, like in that situation, if you really start getting hot, if you really start getting beat up, nigga, like I'm getting hot now, and now somebody's in handcuffs. All cause you wanted to be Mr. Fucking Grappler. <laughs> nigga wanted to be WrestleMania. Nigga thought this was WrestleMania. No sir. And I'm, and I'm crashing whips, pussy. The Hooverville? Oh, that gang banging over here? Let me take off my Yankee. I don't got no Yanks. I don't have no Yankee. I don't have no Yankee fitness for that exact reason, actually. Where's the mission where I gotta chase a nigga through the city on a bike? I don't think it's this one, but I feel like it's finna be coming up soon. Chasing the nigga through the city on a motorcycle, on my ghost rider shit. I'm not finna rap. I don't know. I don't really rap much, nigga. I don't rap beef with no actors. My bad. I gotta stop pausing shit. <laughs> Man, goddamn. You know what I wonder? I wonder. Oh shit! I just be trying to look for like effortless segues. I'm not really good at segueing conversations, so I just you know you just gotta ask questions. But I wonder if niggas uh if they still teaching niggas about like. Cause this might sound a little bit ignorant, but I heard that people are trying to ban like critical race theory in school, and I don't know what the fuck that exactly means. But if that means teaching about slavery, I wonder if they're still doing that. Cause the shit that I remember about slavery, like I remember it being like, 
they yes, they they was honest, but like the amount of people that own slaves that you figure out, like I, I think the nigga said Abraham Lincoln owned slaves or some shit like that. They never talk about no shit like that. Looks like a thirty-eight. And a Bro, lot of the shit that happened with slaves, they definitely don't talk about. Took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Well, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. So the ass nigga called it hooch. Hold <clears throat> oh, we gonna finish the race three after this conversation. Excellent. I'll work out the discussion. details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. But bro, like especially growing up, like because growing up, I went to I don't want to say like in middle school is predominantly Spanish, but it was like a lot of Spanish on like Asian kids, and it's nothing wrong with that. But that's just how it is if you if you live in Long Beach. It's a, I think it's a it's a very high Cambodian uh Cambodian percentage, and it's a very high of a uh, Latino percentage, and it's nothing wrong with that. I got Cambodian and Latino friends, but the one and I don't want to say setback, but the one thing that did bother me growing up about that is like, bro, whenever it would be time to talk about some black shit or like somebody or like fucking Nigeria would pop up, bro. I had a homie named Abraham. This nigga dead ass called it Nigeria, and then they was laughing at this shit. Like, well, look, Jeremiah, what do you how do you feel about this one? Like. What the fuck? I I just be wondering what the fuck be wrong with people. Harry was getting ready to make his move. Waking up to the Navy. But then prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. All that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into no records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything. Except peddling dope. My five, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was Damn. running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. Damn. He wasn't exactly okay. happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Content. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. That was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. If this <laughs> next mission is what I think it is, this shit is gonna take a while. That's interesting. You think Celieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Wait. Well, a few years back, a voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. Ugh. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off on another, trying to goose the take, but... Once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach. Still breathing, of course. Christ. Mm. I'm sorry, that's not funny. Missing piece. How was that? Morello was always winding us up, but he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales, because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. Pause, maybe? But yeah, fuck that, fuck growing up, I mean, not fuck growing up, but just fuck racism in school and... I just wonder if teachers are still fucking saying the n-word when they reading some of these passages and trying to get that shit off talking about some well to teach you guys the real history of it I got sick no the fuck you don't bro especially if we're all reading this shit and I'm staring at this fucking paper you definitely do not need to shout the n-word at me I know what the fuck this says oh hey boss what's going on you old white bitch now now if I get up and I start sounding honky this motherfucker is gonna be a problem right <laughs> you want a Pepe's for lunch, but Carl called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. Oh, wait, no, this ain't. Oh, yeah, I could do this one, nigga. I thought this was the other one. The other, other. The other, other. You? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. 
Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy as all. Got you, gangsta. I got you. But, um... Yeah, man. I just hope they're not still talking about that type of shit. But they probably are. Or at least not using the N-word. Maybe slavery. But at least if it's... I don't know. I don't think I maybe... Because I don't know. Like, I think now with life, sure, you would have to get people like trigger warnings and stuff everybody. like that. But since... What happened? Just happened. because you know the world is like a fucked up place, but I also think that they should be, uh, they should be really real about what happened, you know? It's because nigga slavery went pretty, and I also don't like the fact that all of this shit is black and white. Nigga, that shit was 70 years ago. That is not, the, or not, not, let me not say 70 years ago like it was in the 50s, but that shit went like dumb, dumb long ago, nigga. They make it seem like that was in like the 1800s or something. You don't know nobody alive in no fucking 18 nothing. You can find somebody from 19 something. And it might have been in the 1800s, so I don't want to sound ignorant, but I feel like it was still very prevalent in the early 1900s. <laughs> the early 1900s, but no, like, for real, dead ass though, I feel like it was. And in the late ones, I mean, it just slavery, not like, it wasn't, I don't think niggas was still in, being enslaved in like 1990, but it wasn't like fucking black people were just looked upon the greatestly, or the great, the greatest. give you that. Sure look at us thriving now. Sam Serena Williams Williams just retired, We're nigga. We've been through some times together. Did he live? A, yeah. Did he win a lifetime oh, achievement awards? I'm seeing a young boy on Instagram with Yaya and his kid. Floyd Mayweather boxing with his grandson. Yeah, black people is up right now, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. What happened to that one? That one bitch that acted like she was black but really wasn't. That racial dole is all. Why do people always want to be black when they not, bro? Being being black is fucking difficult. You know how many times I walk into a store and just subconsciously take my hoodie off? Because I don't want niggas to think I look like I'm stealing something when they already, like... When I already think that, like, I personally, I don't think shit like that matters. Because you just think I'm going to steal because I'm black, no matter what. I could be a black man in a suit and you would still probably follow me around your house because, well, I don't, you know, just, you know, just want to make sure. So I keep my hoodie on, take my hat off, keep my beanie on, all of that, nigga. But I also, like, if I have a beanie on and a hoodie on, I take my hood off. I, like, if I have my hoodie on, I take my hood off. And it's just like, but why, though, nigga? One, because I'm going to steal. If I'm going to steal, I'm stealing no matter where. This fucking hoodie isn't... I mean, it'll make it easier for like to, like, look... Early, Tom. This ain't early. In fact, it's getting kind of late. That's such a fat ass up, nigga. You eat when the fuck we get there, you are. I have been looking The who? I don't eat. I don't eat that hey, shit. More wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. I don't eat You're that shit, so nigga. Don't forget it. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Y'all think I can beat this in 16 better. minutes? Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother, she would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Oh, bravo, bravo. Say, I mean, I eat the bitch, but I don't know. I mean, I'm in front of everybody you now. I mean, for um, be a step plus, uh, uh, I mean, eh. It'll be like some Deshaun shit. It. That shit is, nigga, I will yeah. fight a nigga. If, if my mom started dating a nigga that went to high school with me, I'm squaring up with that nigga. Emmett handled that shit way too well. Uh, enjoy, huh? I wish I would see a nigga I used to be in math class with walking on my fucking mom. Room. Nigga, I'm pop. Nigga, I don't even have a gun and I'm shooting Sarah shit. Sarah leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. What she you mean no? You. No. I put her up to it. You fat bitch. You took. You had this bitch trying to take away my liquor. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. I feel that, but don't never overstep your boundaries again. Or look me in my face while you're talking to me like that. <laughs> Fuck is wrong with you. That's my wife. I know you don't got a bitch of your own, but you feel me? Let's, let's, you know. You wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. A gourmet because this nigga fat? Yo, spit his fucking cock out. Nigga, you can bring him the food without all the head. He <laughs> says you want dinner and some milk? Like, god damn, 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 it is dumbass up, damn. 
Damn, these niggas ain't playing, is they? Saying the Valentine, Val Valentine's Day massacred our asses. Bastard could have at least let me finish my wine. But I'm a drunkard, right? Hey, Sayeri, come out of there, and we'll make this quick. This was one of my favorite missions from this game. Smoke them out, Joe. I can't believe these niggas had smoke grenades back then. Oh no, that's a, just a regular grenade. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking stupid ass, that's just a regular one, brother. <laughs> Can't believe the technology was so advanced. No, it was it was the same. Boom boom. Damn boy, you good. I'm gonna I'm shooting that nigga first. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. Okay, but you don't think I should get that shotgun I'll keep though? I'm while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. I feel you, but Tommy, this isn't really. Just be quick about it. This isn't really giving. This it's not. How did, what the bitch say? It's not giving. This isn't really giving Godfather, you know? Because even the Godfather, he was a chubby cheek nigga, but he was still kind of tough. You're just like, like you know, like he looked like a sweetheart. I only said walk and I know Henny don't fucking beat me up. Yo, I need I need health, nigga. Or two, I need I need I need fucking dope in my veins. <laughs> Head cracker. Feel me like your mom on a Saturday. <laughs> that was kind of funny, I call. That was kind of funny, I go. Hey, crack a nigga like your mom on a Saturday, you heard? Ooh, nigga's about to shoot me while I'm up here talking shit. It is a grenade! Dumbass nigga, don't ever turn your back in the line of fire. We at war, nigga. You shot at me and my boss while we was eating, nigga. I don't even, I don't even really give a fuck that you shot at my boss. I ain't get to finish my raviolis, nigga. I love pasta night, nigga. I love pasta, nigga. I love pasta, nigga. I love pasta, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, niggas killed me. I was kind of, I was doing my thing, though. Who shot me? Him? All right, man. I'm fucking your mom. <laughs> I wish this shit was like GTA RP, so when you kill a nigga, you could piss on him. I really want these niggas to know I got no respect for him. How you gonna shoot me and I wasn't even paying attention? That's not gangster. <laughs> That's not tough. That was very not gangster. That was very not gangster. I say that shit all the time and niggas never know what that's from. That just let me know a lot of niggas didn't grow up with culture. Cause that's from the boondocks. A lot of niggas didn't have a good childhood. That's all that one is. It was watching grown nigga shows at 11 and talking about a lot of niggas didn't have a good childhood. They was watching Spongebob. <laughs> I was watching South Park though from a young age. I was watching South Park, gotcha. nigga, the boom dot. Oh! Playing Call of Duty, all types of shit. The one game, I feel like I've said this before, but the one game I never could play was Bully, and it's just like, bro, I've seen a nigga get his face blown off. You think, you think this Bully shit is bad, nigga? It's a whole song on, on fucking, what's it called about? Ass. Shit. Oh, oh, never mind, I'm good. The, the power of the trash block. Booty butt cheeks! Booty bo booty bo booty booty butt cheeks! Niggas, I bet, I bet niggas don't know about the smang it though. Niggas don't know about the smang it. Niggas don't know about Flint Flossy all across the nation. Smash and bang is my favorite combination. Smanging them jaws is my favorite aspiration. <clears throat> or whatever that, <clears throat> whatever that nigga said. Niggas don't know about Flint Flossy. I ain't gonna lie, rap icon, nigga. What happened to him? Niggas don't know about Flint Flossy. Niggas don't know about Jay Flossy. Fuck you talk about Flint J. Like I'm from Flint, Michigan, nigga. Smanging a nigga, smanging a nigga, bitch. 
Let me smack it, girl. What the fuck, yo? How are you? This nigga corner banged me. <laughs> Dumbass nigga shot me through the corner. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. Fuck you, you hurt. I could definitely beat this shit in 16 minutes. Because I'm running through this shit now. I got 9 minutes left. After I kill these niggas, we really just gotta drive somewhere. You feel me? So, this shit wouldn't take so long if my fucking aim wasn't so bad, but that's because my eyes is bad, so really it's my parents' fault, so you gotta blame them for procreation, for procreating. Niggas always, your aim is bad. Ooh, nigga, that's, that's all you need to, you need to talk to Jesus and my parents, nigga, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't the one that fucking made me. I didn't, I didn't make a kid with bad eyesight, nigga, I am the kid with bad eyesight. And look, I can't get a fucking headshot this time. It was three in a row last time, nigga. I know, just kill me, just kill me, just kill me, just kill me, just fucking kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, nigga. I'm tired of this fucking dumbass outro, dude. Nigga. Let me get back to the action, nigga. This is a lot of gunplay for a nigga that didn't want to shoot somebody in the face a while ago. Hey, you know what's cr was that? I feel like that was after. Maybe that was. That, I wonder if that was after or before the hotel mission. Cause if that was after the hotel mission, that nigga, that nigga got some nerve. You dead ass gotta walk up to that. I mean, you don't have to, but you have. You can dead ass walk up to that nigga and shoot him in the face and say Don Salieri, Don Salieri sent his regards. But this one, this one we can't do. Fuck about him being a kid, nigga. Kids get shot too. I said this last time, nigga. Let, look, if I would have been in that car when them, when them 14 year old white kids would have been shooting, talking about something, I'm about to roll this shit down like GTA, nigga. You're about to go down like GTA. <laughs> niggas is mean. Niggas is mean. Jesus! There we go. Four headshots in a row. God damn, I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll, nigga. Like a, like, a, like a big bitch in a wheelchair. I'm on a roll, nigga, like one of you niggas old ass aunties in them scooters, nigga, and the full full ass. I'm just playing, I'm popping shit. My grandparents used to be on them. I miss my grandparents a lot. Shout out to my great grandparents. Bow, head popper, head popper, head popper. Hold on, hold on. I'm not finna keep, uh, I'm not finna keep fucking redoing this shit. Look, look, popping all that shit. I can't even. Yes, I'm still breathing, nigga. Hold on. Hey, Papa. Don't sell the hurry. Boss. Hey, Papa. Niggas is ass. I ain't gonna lie. For all you niggas, it shouldn't only took me three times. You really saved my ass, Tom. What the fuck did you just say to me? The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. You said, look at the balls on this kid. Fun fact, honestly. Fun weird fact. the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he oh. calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlos stacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. See, I told y'all, but gotta go drive to see some nigga. I didn't know that that was Carlo, though. That's Carlo, nigga? The nigga we was just with? Step on oh, yeah, we shoot. Minute, we shoot, boy. Fuck Tom, I'm about to help. Sure, boss. Can't believe these bastards had the brass balls to wreck Boom, boom. Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me be on my piece of cheese. Boys, it? right here. His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. I'm my dog. Apple don't fall far from the tree. Boom, man, I'm my dog. Boom, that is Boom. That is nigga, like a cartoon. I'm my dog. Boom, man. Only till the day she dies. Damn. For what? Some dodo by his dope? <laughs> I might foot through his face. Damn, this nigga's popping it. He said his mom's a widow you know already, and I'm now he's glad. about to make her lonely to the day she dies. I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels like it. It don't feel like shit. It is that that he tried to you kill both of us. In, you give him a place in your family. You give him respect, and this, this is how he repays you. If he's yeah, done this, uh, you know it would be worse if he snitched on you, right? The farm, the bedding house, the ambush at the parking garage, <laughs> any of them could have been him. No Tommy ass ain't talking about no Jesus fucking squealing. Christ, As you're reciting this story to a cop, it's crazy. The time we work it out is when his guys come this close to bumping me off. No, we got that nigga right here. This where he, this where he be at, right? This is his apartment. This the block he live on. Fuck you talking about? We about to go see about that nigga. 
Dude, get me in the boss clip. Nigga, you got me fucked up, nigga. Come on. We on that. We on that. We on that. We on that with that nigga. We on that with that nigga. This is this is shit. This is shit, right? Why'd you let me go first, huh? Garlo might be waiting first. No, Tom. My face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. Uh huh. We on that with that. Oh. Here, here, putting in weak strokes, nigga. You about to die? How you fucking with your jaws on? You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. Damn. Damn. Need him in the dick, Jesus. You okay, bus? Yeah. This old ass nigga. Let me catch my breath. I was just finna say that he got catch his breath. I told you you should have. Told you should have let me go in first. Fuck wrong with you. You wanna be Superman? What's up with niggas trying to be something they not this this uh just run around? You're not Superman, and other nigga wasn't, and, and Carlo wasn't uh. Nigga, where nigga? Where's my fucking nigga? Where's my gun at? Where's my yo? Where's my gun? B O yo B O B. Where's my gun? You don't need explain it to fucking Jesus, nigga. That's the only person that's about to hear you, nigga. Explain it to Biggie. Let me talk to the boss. I can explain everything. Oh. Tommy, you gotta know. Nigga, well now I'm gonna fucking do it. Fuck wrong with you. You lucky too. I was about to light that nigga up. I'm not sure. Fuck wrong with you. Damn, now your mom don't got no now your mom don't got no husband or no kid. Damn shame. All cause you wanted to tell on somebody. Old ass bitch about to be sitting in that house alone. Sewing. Wishing her wishing the men in her life did better. <laughs> Uh, well, couple, 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 couple of dark jokes. It don't matter. It's not like he can hear him. Tell your pops I said was good, nigga. Keeping out of trouble. Sure. Who's this? Wait a minute. Is that Gordy? It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hotly recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah, but it's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, he did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? God now. forbid a nigga want to get right. paid more. So Fucking I support his family, right? Is that all right with you? Of course. Yeah. Now. What about that, uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. And Carlo's dead. And you about to join him. That big-ass white suit on. Damn it! Go on the fucking burrito. An uncooked one, though. Like a white people burrito. What happened? What did... I don't know yet. That might... Why that be a real dead. word? Restaurants all shot to hell. Stop your crying. Can't have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach, Carlo? Found him with his head. No disrespect if that is, by the watermelon. way. Never seen anything like it. Mm. So the yeah, must have figured Carlo was there. God damn it! I even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up. I don't think he told him to shut the fuck up. Since you killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? I don't remember him saying shut the fuck up. Tell the boys to keep their eyes peeled and the powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. I'm gonna kill your little brother next. <laughs> just there. Uh, oh, I'm gonna put that nigga right in the dirt. <laughs> Right in the dirt, right in the dirt. I'm gonna kill your little brother next. <laughs> Laughing while you tell a nigga you gonna you gonna kill his family one by one is crazy. But yeah, if that nigga if that nigga got a big brother too, I'm shooting that nigga too. They got an uncle, they got a they got a they, they, they got a dad nigga, they got a they got a cousin that's thinking about joining the family. Just shit, niggas get popped, you heard?
with that. It's hot. I'm about to go wash my fucking nutsack. <laughs> and do drugs and then eat and go to sleep. Y'all niggas have a fucking fantastic, splendiferous, just out of califistic, espialidocious day at, at work or school, whichever one on whatever day. Because, you know, responsibilities. Listen to some Brent Fayaz. Go watch fucking mid nineties. Um, tell the people that you love that uh, this fucked them, and that they they could go jump off a bridge. <clears throat> but tell them that if they did jump off that bridge, that you will love them. And then smoke, eat good, and smoke even better. I'm fucking leaving. <laughs>